having power on the go or out camping is sometimes very crucial. Today I wanted to do a quick review on a new product that I just received that is a solar powered I've been testing this pack. for the last couple of weeks and I've actually been pleasantly surprised on the performance. This is a product, uh, kind of a funny name, the logo is kind of weird, but it's actually pronounced E-Boot, E, like Echo, B-O-O-T. It's a lithium polymer battery. It's a 5 amp or 5,000 milliamp battery. It does have a passive solar charger. Uh, it's a 5 volt panel rated at 200 milliamps. Uh, it does also have a micro USB input to uh, charge it if you are indoors. You want to get it f quickly charged so you have something uh, to use all night, overnight. Uh, and it does have two standard female USB plugs, both rated at 1 amp. I went camping with this last weekend and I actually was able to keep my uh, phone topped off for the entire weekend and I have a uh, Samsung Galaxy 4 active uh, and you so you can see anytime it's in the Sun the little LED lights up and you are getting charged so you can just literally lay it out and uh, just take it out of your pocket lay it down keep it in the Sun and it's charging um, you do push it's got an off on button here push the button and you can see it's fully charged um, and as it goes down it'll go from right to left until it gets here and it'll be dead uh, you can push and hold it and it'll power off it actually comes with a little LED flashlight you double click the little power button and it powers the flashlight on powers it off it's not the brightest flashlight it's just if you've dropped something on the ground you can pick it up Again, just push and hold it, power it on. On the sides here, there's uh, two, the, both of the plugs are covered by rubber boots. I forgot to mention, this is actually a water resistant, dust resistant, and shock resistant uh, enclosure, which is really nice. So you can, I, I haven't dropped it, but uh, it's supposedly, uh, the panel is, is, is such a panel that it's not like the traditional glass style. I don't know that it would break nearly as uh, easily. It, it seems like it's pretty tough. The If I had one complaint, the rubber boots don't stay in all that well. They, I think that they could be indented a little bit more into the housing. But as long as you've got them closed like that, um, it rained quite a bit over the weekend and I never worried about picking it up. I didn't uh, it didn't seem to bother at all that it ever got rained on. I don't know if you could submerge it in anything, but it is uh, rain resistant or water resistant. So you've got the regular USB plug there. You've got your micro USB plug there for uh, you can charge it off your computer, charge it off of a cell phone charger, whatever you want, just anything in micro USB and it charges this quite a bit faster as you can imagine. And on the other side where the little flashlight is, there's another USB as well. Uh, for the most part, I have been yeah, pretty happy with it. Uh, as I said, I was able to go the whole weekend uh, keeping this topped off, uh, keeping my phone topped off. Um, and I, I did, I, I do have an external battery pack that I'm gonna do a review on in another video that uh, I was able to plug in uh, one time just to make sure that I had this fully charged because uh, I was also testing out my uh, battery pack This is pack a as well. review on the so E-Boot solar powered battery backup charger. Uh, give it a try. I think you'll like it. When At the time of this video, uh, it was selling for $23.99 uh, Prime if you've used Amazon Prime. So I've been thoroughly, I, I would give it a, a several thumbs up. I, I really do think it's a good product to have. It's pretty lightweight. Um, and I'll probably uh, in the description put in some dimensions and the weight of this product. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe and I will come back with videos as quickly as I can. Thanks.